I would say put a pin in it. Isn't that what entomologists do? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what Goodness. the? Huh. Why would you eat that from your young? That's like one of the weirdest things I've ever heard. I thought fire ants were the worst that we could get, <laughs> but then we got cannibal ants. There's a lot more than just red and black ants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. kidding. Hello and welcome to this episode of I Should Have Known, the trivia game show that can't be trusted. Each week, one of our quiz masters will present you with four facts about a topic, but one of those facts is a lie. And we are exploring the animal kingdom this month, and this week, our quiz master is Soups. Hello. And Soups is going to be telling us four facts about the mighty, mighty ant. But remember, one of his facts is a lie, so join me, Andy, and our other host, Tanner, in figuring out which one it is. We're going to find out a lot of things about ants today. But before we get going, let's do the PQQ Mm -hmm. of the week. How many identified species of ants are there in the world? It's got to be in the thousands. Really? Yeah. I mean, I can think of a couple, but then there's got to be like multiple versions of each one. Yeah, because you think about like ants are so small. So like you can have one ant colony and then like you know, 10 feet away, you have another ant colony and they're technically different species because they've been separated from each other because to an ant, that (laughs) that distance is like insurmountable. I think it's like 100. 100? Yeah. Okay. 1,000. Wow. There are about 12,000 to 13,000 identified species. But that, of course, is not the real number. The real number can be actually... It's probably way higher. uh, Way higher. Right. Right. So what we're going to do, of course, we don't have enough time to go through all 12, 13,000 of them. <laughs> oh, no, no. I've picked four species and I'm going to give you a fact about that. But one of the facts like, does not match up with the species. Oh, wow. Right? Oh, so it's, like, so it's a fifth species. Right, right. Okay, this yeah. is on so hard mismatch. mode. Oh, yeah. boy. This seems very difficult. It's already <laughs> yeah. quite difficult. because It's they're not going ants. to be. Because like ants, I will leave pheromones and trails <laughs> so that you can follow. Perfect. And You've done all the heavy <laughs> lifting already. <laughs> there you go. Mm. All right. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. All right. Yes. So ant number one, odorous. Odorous ant emit a distinct blue cheese smell when crushed. They live up to their name. Yeah. They are the house ants. Scientific name is Tabinoma cecil. They are tiny brown ants and they can range from 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch. Okay. And if you're thinking, are these the ants who like sweets? Yes, definitely mm. they do. Oh, so they're at your picnic. They're picnics. like the picnic ants. And in your kitchen. Okay. Yeah. So especially honey. They're oh. big fans of honey. They're one of the most common types of ant. Of course, they love colonizing. Each colony has more than about 50,000 ants and they can build colonies in any environment. Wow. And the smell of odorous is similar to blue cheese because the major component releasing the odor is a type of methyl ketone. Okay. Like some organic chemical Uh compound. Okay. Which actually is found in blue cheese. Okay. When do they secrete this? Only when they're crushed? Yes, Only when they yes, die? Yes. So they just have this like in their bodies and it gets Correct. crushed and released. Yeah, so, I mean, it's gross. not a pheromone. It's just when they die. It's just it's what a, they smell like. <laughs> <laughs> when you crush them and then you try to smell. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like garlic doesn't smell when you slice it. Only when you crush it. But when it. you crush mm. it, then it smells. So yep. I guess these ants are like garlic. Oh, wow. Hmm. That's the so. quote of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Odorous ants. ants. Okay, well, the name works. Sure. So the fact is simply... They smell like blue cheese. If this is a lie, the lie is that it's a different kind of ant that smells like blue cheese, and odorous ants smell like something else. Yes. They're well, odorous. Right. Well, maybe, <laughs> they <are. laughs> maybe they are. Clearly, <laughs> but they smell like something else. Mm-hmm. I'm a little suspicious because if these are like common household ants, like yes. picnic ants, mm-hmm. I've squished these, mm-hmm. and I can't recall there being a particularly blue cheese smell. No. Maybe the blue cheese ant is a more lesser known ant. Right. In Soups is lying and saying, yeah, like, yeah, the common picnic ant. Right. Or maybe I was just eating blue cheese in my picnic and didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's Maybe. A, I don't have that many thoughts on ant smells. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have much to go off of, yeah. except the name matches, you know, odorous blue cheese. I guess. Yeah, hmm. and I mean, we we know that other bugs stink when you squish them. Oh so. yeah, ladybugs. ladybugs. I hate that smell. <laughs> oh, I hate that smell. 
Well, that's not really the trick of this episode, no, exactly, right? It's not right. that it's definitely there is some ant in the world that smells like blue cheese when you crush it. Yeah, correct. Is that ant the odorous ant? Mm, it's tricky. Hmm. I would say put a pin in it. Isn't that what entomologists <laughs> do? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's move to ant number two, which is bulldog. Bulldog ant. The bulldog ant. If you cut the bulldog ant into two, the head and the tail fight till one of them dies. <laughs> oh, I think it already died. You cut it in half. Yeah, right. What? Like, <laughs> what? one is going to survive yeah, and yeah. then continue on? How does the butt fight the head? <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ask that. Like, doesn't the head have the, the pinchers? Mm, yeah. Like, how's the butt fight it? Right. Also, who the hell? What kind of, like, sadist discovered this? Because <laughs> I can't imagine in nature it's super common. Mm. It's not impossible. But it's super common that an ant gets sliced in yep. half. Yeah. So, like, what psycho is, like, in a lab being like, <laughs> me cut up this yeah. ant. Yeah. Oh, look, it does weird things. I like to think that they're very systematic and they're like, I'm going to go through all 12,000 species <laughs> and cut every single one in half and see what happens. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. They're also known as Myrmetia. This is a genus of ants typically found in Australia. And they can grow up to 40 millimeters. That's pretty big. Mm -hmm. So they have large, powerful eyes and they can track moving prey from a meter away. Wow. Wow. Pretty far for ants. I mean, that's really far when you're only 40 millimeters Mm -hmm. long. (laughs) And their venom is one of the most toxic in the insect world. Of course, they're Australian. Of course, they're going to kill you. (laughs) The head seizes the tail and the tail defends itself by stinging. Oh. oh, it has a stinger. That's how it's this animals. fight can go up to 30 minutes till mm. one of them dies or if they're separated by some other ants. Uh-huh. But in most cases, like one they, of them the dies. The ants will break up an, <laughs> a, a, a butt head fight. Hold me back. Kill me back. <laughs> Stop me, bro. That's so the weird. Hell? I'm so confused about this. So it sounds like it's like a reaction. The nervous system is just like attacking anything mm-hmm. that's close because like the butt can't think. Yeah, right. It's just trying to sting whatever's there. So I've heard that hornets or like wasps, if their head is removed from their body, then the rest of their body like holds their head like they're eating it or something weird. Mm -hmm. But this is just the nervous system just like doing what it does, like a reflex. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking this must be like a reflex. The reflex is just bite my butt. Yeah. (laughs) Bulldog ants are the closest to wasps. Mm. So they are like when uh, they were evolving, this is the ant which did not fully develop. Become in, an yeah. awesome. Because it has okay, a yeah. stinger. Yeah. And that's not super common among right. ant types, I think. Mm. I don't know much about ants. I don't think they yeah. really have stingers. Right. So, wow. I'm still so just flabbergasted by the <laughs> idea that somebody like found this out. <laughs> like that's just so bizarre to me. But okay. One thing I find a little suspicious is that why is it called a bulldog ant? Mm -hmm. Because bulldogs are known specifically for their, like, tendency to, like, bite and not let go. Yeah. Their tenacity. So I guess maybe it's kind of very tenacious if they, like, are fighting their own butt. Right. They're they're never going to back down. Or maybe, like, a dog chasing its tail. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like, that, again, is maybe a little suspicious where I'd be like, no, the bulldog ant probably bites. And then this is, again, a different kind of ant. Yeah. Like, it never lets go. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's like a bulldog thing. Mine is a pit bull thing. Pit bull. Yeah, maybe it's the wrong dog. Maybe I'm bad at dogs. (laughs) (laughs) So that's a little weird. Yeah. The whole concept is obviously weird. And if the game today was just the whole fact is a lie, this one would be the shot right up there because why? Why the hell? Right. But that's not the lie parts, which I'm finding really weird. (laughs) So it's just like it's a a different kind of ant. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sure. Well, we're halfway there. Mm Mm-hmm. Ant number three, acorn. The acorn ant. Yes. Acorn ant queens change their size when moving to a new location. Oh. Hmm. So they can shrink or grow depending on where they are. This going. sounds like an Ant-Man thing. I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah, right. Are you just describing Ant-Man? <laughs> so acorn ants are of the family Echiton Burcelli. That sounds like a pasta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> so there are 200 different species of these ants, and they raid almost anything that's on their way. Acorn ants are blind, and they have about 15 to 20 pheromones, each meaning different things at which they use to communicate. Mm-hmm. And they're super aggressive, 
and the colony can contain anywhere between 200,000 to 20 million ants. Wow. Oh my god. So, the reason why the queen can change, modify its size because ant is born without any wings. So that's why they can change the size depending on where she is moving and she can lay up to 30,000 eggs in a day. Where do they live? It's a common. It's They're not all over the yes, world. yes, okay. not like bulldog ants mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. Just like odorous, this is like commonly mm-hmm. found. Okay. So when she shrinks or enlarges, right. it's about the wings. I mean, because she does not have a wing, so uh-huh. she can Okay, I got the idea with the, the no wings, so like she can't fly to a new place. Mm-hmm. Right. She has to walk. Mhm. Mm-hmm. That's going to be would, tough if you're really big. I was going to say the opposite. I was like it would take a lot less time if you are bigger. You take fewer oh, strides, yeah, you know, it just yeah. literally takes less time cuz you're bigger. Right. But I don't know, this is very weird. Yeah. I don't really fully understand the whole process of getting bigger and smaller. Yeah. Why are they acorn ants? Yeah, also the name doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. Why are they called that? They live in oak trees. Do they look no, like acorns? I mean, the shape that they make of their colony is often acorn. Oh, okay. And they live in the trees, mm-hmm. they can live in jungles. Okay. Okay. The queen can change her size. But that's not the negotiable part. That's true. Yeah, why There's would an acorn ant, ant do that? There's a kind of ant that yeah. grows. Why would this acorn ant? I don't know. That's even less guessable. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Why would that be an acorn ant? Right. That should be the shrinky biggie <laughs> ant. <laughs> like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I guess it's one of those features where it's like, okay, it's clearly not the defining feature of right. this ant. Because why wouldn't the person named it? Because it's not named for that. Yeah. It could make sense if it was like, well, humans have been seeing their colonies, named them after acorns, and then later discovered, oh, these dudes, she gets bigger and smaller. Like, what? That's so weird. Mm-hmm. It's super weird. <laughs> Everything about this is weird. Yeah. Why are well, ants so weird? <laughs> I guess yeah. when there are like 12,000 of you, then you one to... of you is going to be weird. Yeah. All right. So we move on to our last ant, ant number four, Dracula. Ooh. So Dracula ants jaws reach a velocity of over 200 miles per hour making them one of the fastest movers. 200 miles per hour? Yeah, but they're only going like, <laughs> you know, like a teeny tiny right. distance. Yeah. yeah. It's like the mantis shrimp. Yeah. Exactly. Dracula ants are of the species Mysterium camille. They were only discovered in the 1990s. Wow. And they're found majorly in Madagascar. They are called Dracula ants mm-hmm. because they exhibit vampire-like characteristics. <laughs> they practice a form of non-lethal cannibalism where the worker ants gently milk their own larvae by making small incisions and consuming the hemolymph which is the equivalent of blood in insects. What? Oh my goodness. The hell? Why would you eat that from your young. That's like one of the weirdest things I've ever heard because you know like I feel like one of the general rules of the animal kingdom as I understood it was that like animals protect their young. Yes. And then this ants like now we eat them. <laughs> yep. But we eat them gently. Yes. And we it's don't, not lethal. I'm it, not killing. Yeah, well, it couldn't be or these ants would have been, you know, they would have gone the way of the dodo a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Yeah. What? They live under a rotting wood or under rocks. Uh-huh. They have a very distinct appearance. The color ranges from silver to dark brown and they have a, a metal-like shine. Wow. What? And they are nocturnal and they can strike 5000 times faster than the blink of an eye. Oh my god. Wow. This is terrifying. See again, can we I'm on discover this thing <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Put it back under that rock. Oh, that is definitely like yeah, a rock you'd want to turn back over. Yeah. Like nope. <laughs> nope. Again, I am glad that the game is not does this exist, yeah. but this exists. This is so terrifying. This is horrifying cuz this would be unbelievable be like nah, soups is like watching vampire diaries yeah. late at yeah. night and he's like, "Ooh, yeah, what nope. if I made an ant like that?" Yeah, they're nocturnal. They suck the blood of their young. So this one I would say this is the least suspicious for this game. Right, yeah, cuz that name. Because that name is dead on. Yeah. Right? Like of course that's a Dracula ant. Yeah. Unless somebody else found some other blood sucking ant and named it Dracula <laughs> and then they found this and they're like, "Oh, but this is more Dracula." <laughs> they already took our name. Then it would be the Nosferatu ant. So <laughs> it's like, okay, I think I think we're pretty confident here that like the name matches the description. Right. 
sounds like the Dracula ant. It really lines up. Yeah. Why does it eat its own young? I Nobody knows. I don't <laughs> know. It's a mystery. If it can strike its prey super fast, why does it also need to like milk its own children? <laughs> yeah. Like I, I'm very confused and about And the larvae, they're not going to go anywhere. It's such a waste. You know, it's like... Yeah. But it's like their nutrition. It's yeah. their food. Yeah. That's so bizarre. Gross. Ew. But since the game is to figure out if it's the ant he says is the ant he's describing, yep. this one, I, I think it is. That I one's easy. It's got to be, right? Like, yeah. Especially because the other ones were suspicious as hell. Yeah. So this one is like, okay, I feel okay about this. One. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks, Soup's never going to sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> I thought fire ants were the worst that we could get, but then we got cannibal ant here. There's a lot more than just red and black ants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no yeah. kidding. Wow. Those were just absolutely wild facts about <laughs> ants. But before we guess which ant doesn't match the description, could you please repeat them for us? Yes. Number one, odorous ants emit a distinct blue cheese smell when crushed. Number two, if you cut the bulldog ant into two, the head and tail fight till one of them dies. Number three, acorn ant queens change their size when moving to a new location. And number four, Dracula ants' jaws reach a velocity of over 200 miles per hour, making them one of the fastest movers. Wow. First things first, odorous, blue cheese. That sounds good to me. It sounds better than the others. Yep. Number two, bulldog fights its butt. <laughs> also, okay. okay. Okay with that. Sure. Sure. Number three. Acorn. Acorn. Queen changes size. See, the acorn thing doesn't give me any Does information. No. So that's unhelpful. Yep. And well, what would an acorn ant be? Like it gets buried by squirrels and then you dig it up later? It stores food over the winter. It <laughs> lives inside acorns. Why wouldn't it be a squirrel ant then? Yeah, squirrel ant. It lives in oak trees. Like, mm. Yeah, I don't know. And then the Dracula. Now I'm thinking about it differently that like it's the thing about the Dracula being fast. Yeah. And it would be the pistol ant or the right, lightning exactly. ant. Yeah, yes, exactly. Something. That's what exactly what here. I was thinking. That like, no, that's a different kind of ant. That's the yeah. I was gonna say lightning ant. Yeah, something the about, blink ant. Yeah, the bolt ant. We're just making up ants over here now. <laughs> Brainstorming. <laughs> Brainstorming new ant name. Yeah. 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 So actually, that one maybe I'm gonna recant oh. on my whole like this is the most obvious one. <laughs> Could you imagine if you're such a like a superlative ant? That not only are you a cannibal <laughs> of your own babies, yeah. but also you're super fast. Right. Why do they need to eat prey, love, and eat their babies? Yeah. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> just, just kind of eat prey. <laughs> you know, eat prey, love. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I mean, though? But like maybe that's the pheromone trail that Soups is leaving right. for us to follow. Right. There's some breadcrumbs here. Picnic that way. Well, He's yeah. barfing it into my mouth <laughs> and telling me to picnic that way. <laughs> So I think maybe I will go with the Dracula ants. Okay. I'm going with Acorn. I think that name just does not match up. You got nothing on mm. that. Yeah. I think they live in oak trees inside acorns. There's a different kind of ant that grows and shrinks. Yeah. It's, like Ant-Man. Yeah. The Ant-Man ant. The Ant-Man ant. Okay. So odorous and Bulldog, 100%. They okay. are true to what, All right. they, what they do. All right. Wow. The Dracula ant... The reason why I did not make the Dracula ants like non-lethal cannibalism as like the main fact, because I thought like that's kind of given because that's why they're named Dracula. It's too obvious. That's uh, where the they name are, comes from. So, so they the just speed thing also are fast. Also, <laughs> yes, they're also super fast. Wow. Wow. With the acorn, the description that I gave of 200,000 to 20 million ants in one colony, super aggressive, that is the army ants. Army oh. ants. They're the army ants. Yeah, I guess we didn't really touch on how like 15 million yeah. is a super large colony. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So. So acorn ants is actually one of the most peaceful species of <laughs> ants. Wow. <laughs> they can only be up to 200, which fits into one acorn. Oh, and there we go. And when they're done. 
and then they move to another acorn. Oh, they do oh. live in them. I do. And that they really is true. live in acorns. Yes, and they sound very cute. Yeah. Acorn yeah. ant does sound like that's yeah. not an ant that's gonna bite yeah. you. Yeah. I guess yeah. I missed how aggressive the the ant you were describing was. Yes. Yeah. That's what it's known for. Yeah. So the yeah. army ants, the queen gets bigger and smaller. Exactly. That part wasn't in the ants go marching. <laughs> no, there's no like the ants go marching yeah. two yeah. by two. Yeah. The queen is bigger, now smaller than you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the hidden verse you didn't know existed. Wow. I learned so much about ants. Yeah. That's why I love this show, man. Like, what? Why? Why do I need to know any of this? That was super cool. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I guess army ants, I do know of that ant. So mm-hmm. like, I feel like maybe I should have known. Yeah, I should have known. Thanks for listening to this episode of I Should Have Known. We would be eternally grateful if you uh, march on down and leave us a five-star review wherever you listen to podcasts. That would really help us out. And we'll be finishing up our Animal Kingdom theme next week. We have a frequently requested episode. Tanner will be your quiz master and he'll be telling us more facts about house cats. So get ready for that. And as always. I don't have a stinger.